Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1424, recorded July 9th, 2013. Ratings, schmatings. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you found it. The same dumb show again. Hit it. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte. Because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Alert pathology. There's rows of USBs growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the gizwiz now. Now. Ah, here comes the thrill cam. No. Oh, dum, no. Dum, 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 dum. Frozen in space. Ran out of thrill cam juice, and it's stuck right there. It's stuck. Right Oh, wow. Oh, oh, It just oh. leapt in space. Oh. It was the hyperspace. That was uh, pretty amazing. It traveled at light speed. Wow. 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 Uh, and wow. somewhere deep within <laughs> the, the building of Twit, it Burke is slamming his face into the table. End. Should we try and it again? No Take two. Take two? <laughs> All right. I'll be right back <laughs> after this word. All right, I'm going to uh, drive it backwards. So it's still working, right? Yeah, it's the. All right. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, little flaky. Glitchy. Do you think it's the uh, the the? Are we having trouble with the uh, the warp engines? Yeah, it's uh. Oh, that's Star Trek. Oh, no wonder. What do they call hyperdrive in the Star Wars universe? There's hyperspace. All right. <laughs> no, you you you. What All right, ready. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm supposed to stop it with my behind. Ah! The oh. Oh. oh, man, that thing really, really can leap through space and time. I mean, it's pretty realistic. Don't that you think? is gets to point from point yeah. A to point B without being anywhere in between. That is truly, yeah. oh. I think, phone called Doctor Einstein. Yeah. I think we've just proved his theory of hyperspace. Yeah. Ivity. Jason, hyperspace was, that NASA, hyperspace. was that, that NASA video that you snuck yes. in there? Look, there it is. Yeah, this is uh <laughs> this is actually happening right now in the right. Wow. In space. The new, the new it, rockets after all the government cuts. You might think it looks like it's not going anywhere, but what you don't understand is that is a vast Hovering. distance. Uh -huh. That is billions of miles. It just looks like it's a small area. It's going uh -huh. very, very quickly all the way towards that <laughs> that pipe in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it left Disneyland about an hour ago, and it's just about to Petaluma. It's slowly getting closer. Wow. What the oh! hell? Oh! 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 Wow, it's just... Oh, boy, this gets better every week. <laughs> <laughs> You can't uh, outrun. I just want to say, you cannot outrun hyperdrive. Yeah, yeah, no. <sighs> wow, that was an amazing experience. Did you, yeah. did you feel when the time dilation happened? Did you feel I, as if you were being turned inside out? You know what? It was Leah. I was sitting here, and like <laughs> Myra was here, then she was gone. Yeah. And then she was back. That's right. And I said, Myra, it's the time continuum. And she said, No, I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> But it looked like it. <laughs> it looked like I'm shit. You'll wonder where your sidekick went when you reach the space time pepsitin. So let us uh, say hello to everybody all across the uh, universe. 
in every galactic oh. quadrant. Welcome. Yes. Welcome yes. to this uh, distant spiral arm of a little-known galaxy we like to call the Milky Way. Yes. A little planet, about the fourth planet out from the sun, we like to call the Earth. And this is a show <laughs> that represents well, all that is... Not on Earth. <laughs> all that the, the civilization, the pinnacle of Earth civilization, 25,000 years of evolution have led... To this and FedEx. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our host, Dick T. Bartolo. Leah, how you doing? I am sweating up a storm, and I don't know if that's because we were doing the twist earlier or just traveling through space and time. But uh, I think it's probably a combination of both and the excitement in the studio. <laughs> oh. It's palpable. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, something is. I'm having palpitations right now. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Many people. <laughs> Not there, this is probably one of the few podcasts in the world that will just stop and do that. <laughs> Absolutely, just stop I think and it's the have a dance party. party in the world. You never know when the dance party's <laughs> right around the corner. Podcast really with guts. Dick is like <laughs> Dick Clark, many in many ways. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I I passed on three years ago, but I still. <laughs> Come back to do the show. So, do we have some gadgets this week? Are you are you still doing stuff from the uh, the, the uh, CES? One more, uh, the CES line oh, show. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Did something explode or what? Yeah, that, 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 that was me. I shouldn't have eaten all that popcorn. I think. <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Just stay away from open flame for the time being. Uh, go uh, ahead. Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, back to the CE uh, line show for one final video. And it's a fun thing, and I think kids will like this. And the company says adults will like it, too. So let's run that bit of... Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. Oh, We're at CES here at Summertime. Love a these guys. A fun booth called Little Bits. And these are the little bits. They are little bits of geeky fun. And Ethan here is going to help explain about his little bits. So, Ethan, show me how these guys go together. Absolutely. So uh, the key to Little Bits is a special magnetic connector that we have that won't let you put things together the wrong way. So if you, you watch, they'll just push each other away if you're doing the wrong thing and snap right together if you're doing the right thing. So you can really quickly make some simple interactive circuits. So you, Ooh, did you just make a, was that a volume control kind of thing or a rheostat? Yeah, something like that. Something like um, that. And if you want to, you can do the same thing, but swap in yes, something mechanical. For a person, so that's a good description. We've got a vibrating motor inside this bell here. Oh, that's great! And we've got a lot of other, uh, a lot of other things. Is that a motor? Yeah, there's a, here's one of the motors. Let me put my finger on. Is the motor turning? Oh, it is turning. Yeah. yeah. And what we suggest is that you uh, class, use our stuff with craft materials to make things come to life. If you look at one of our uh, demo projects here, it gives you maybe a better idea of what we're trying to do. <laughs> we're trying to pinch the that tongue on a great. cat? And uh, is, is this actually uh, a kit with all the parts in it? Yeah, absolutely. This is our starter kit. And this <clears throat> contains a bunch of different modules. And we also have uh, some supporting materials that come along with it, some special project ideas and stuff like that. And Ethan, how much is the starter kit, and what does it use for power? That is $89. We sell it on our website, littlebits.cc, and it comes with an included 9-volt battery, so you can get started right away. Perfect. This is really great fun for kids. Little bits. I think NASA actually started with, they had, actually, they had the bigger kit. Uh, Dick T. Bartolo, Mass <coughs> Madness Writer, and the Gizwiz with another one-take theater. We're going to look for more stuff. Bye. And, of course, Dick never found anything else, and so that's the last story. Uh, the last we heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't, you clearly, you don't remember that I did little bits like two years ago or a year ago on this show as my gadget of the... Of really? The you just forgot. I did forget. Yeah. No, I, I think they're did. cool. 
Yeah. And in fact, no. I've bought a number of kits, and uh, I gave some for Christmas presents uh, either last year or the year before. Yeah. Really great idea. They 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 really do teach you. They're not you know I mean there's no soldering involved, and uh, but the idea is the magnets really do teach you how things can interact, and they have a variety of projects. Littlebits.cc is the website. Yes. Yeah, so what is yeah. CC for? Because uh, they're on credit they're in card, Union Square, I believe. They're in Union what Square. <laughs> they're in Union Square. <laughs> what is CC? Cayman Islands? I don't know. Carbon copy. Carbon copy. I don't know. <laughs> we could probably that find out. It. I mean, there, there yeah, is this thing called CC. the internet now where you can look stuff up. No, uh, because Cocos. A, Co a person what? there emailed me Cocos. and said, oh, you stopped by our booths. and it's an Australian I was not territory. There. Australian. Yes, you Cocos said, well, we're Island. in Union Square if you want to stop by. Yeah. Uh, Cocos is there a Union Keeling Square Islands. in Island Islands? Is that wild? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I don't know why they use CC. Uh, people are saying it's the next dot com. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm sure that littlebits.com wasn't available. So. Oh, that, you know, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's probably. Yeah. Cool. No, I think that is the greatest thing. And I, I would love to see more electronics projects. Gets, they sell those on Adafruit and uh, many of the other sites that we've uh, talked about in the past. Um, oh, yeah, Ad Adafruit. Love that, Adafruit. That charging cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so that uh, was gadget number one. Gadget number one. A little gadget bits. number two. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, you showed something that uh, Jamma B had brought in, the Energizer Light with Fusion Technology. Yes, yes, yes. I did. So, yes. And, of course, that made me jealous. So I <laughs> went out and found something from Energizer that is a three-in-one light <sighs> project. Curses. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Foiled exactly. again. Exactly. So it is their three-in-one LED flashlight. So up at top, it has your regular flashlight. If I shine it up here, it'll blind the camera, but why not? And then it has the side panel like yours had. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it up to the big camera, Jason. It won't be so bright. Yep. But Leo, what, what um, Jamma Bees did, and I didn't realize, is that when you hold the power button it becomes totally dimmable so that you can bring it all the way down and make it into a little night light if you like. And with this particular one, I'll shut that off, it has a tripod in the back so that you can set this up inside a tent and have an area light or you can aim it toward a job and the head of the flashlight is movable so you can aim it at whatever job you're doing so it's a great little vacation light because you can use it as an oh yours is okay, are you dimming yours no i'm just pretending to no come on turn it on and then turn it on once i don't even know how to turn it on. in the back in the back okay okay now now hold your finger on that same button Is it not dimming? <laughs> nope. It should, it should dim. Maybe if I hold that button. Maybe if I hold both buttons. No, you should click so it on. So yours dims, but mine doesn't. Yeah. Does? Is it dimming? I don't see it. There it goes. It. There. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's there like goes. half as bright. Hmm. So. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, the three-in-one Energizer with Light Fusion is uh, thirty bucks, and <laughs> there it is. And on Amazon, I think it's uh, under twenty-five bucks. Oh yeah, there it is, twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four cool. dollars. These are great. I like this technology. Yeah, they're, they're water-resistant. You know, yeah. their LEDs never burn out. Uh, uh, batteries can last a long time. And, oh, by the way, I was looking on Amazon and someone was saying, my light only stays on for 10 seconds. Why is that? <laughs> so in little, little print yeah. on the instructions, it will tell you the flashlights are shipped in demo mode. Oh. It's so that you can play with them in stores and do the various uh, features but they don't want you to walk away and leave the flashlight on and then the batteries you get that to makes the next sense one. yeah so what you do is when you get the flashlight 
Yeah. In the instructions, it says take the batteries out, but it's ridiculous. All you have to do is take off the end cap, which breaks the connection to the batteries, and then put the end cap back on, and demo mode will then be disconnected, and it can go into uh, a regular flashlight. Um, 24, so 27. Uh, yeah, Amazon. Energizer LED, and that one's called the three-in-one flashlight and, with lights. And you're going to want to find uh, something that is uh, 73 cents because they got free shipping on orders over 25 bucks. <laughs> so buy, I don't know, a 73 cent they battery. Do that. A gumball. A gumball. A gumball. I know. I know. <laughs> this, do they have gumball? I know. I know. I was, I was looking at... at some uh, eyeglasses, and it was like seventy nine ninety nine free shipping, eighty dollars and above. It's interesting how they do that, isn't it? But we're Prime it's, members, so we don't care. Everything we is don't free. Care. For us. We don't care. Don't care at all. No, no. Buy more stuff. Exactly. Oh, and my, speaking of buy more stuff, so you're always asking me, do I still use my Soda Stream? Yes. You asked me that last week. Well, not only am I using my soda stream, but there is a new one. Mm. And this video will explain it all. The Key Bartolo Man's Man is trying to end the Gizwiz with another one take theater here on Twit. In July and August, there are a lot of trade shows where companies show products they hope will be big at Christmas time for gift giving. And at one of the shows, I saw this, the Soda Stream Source Metal Edition. Now, I love Soda Stream. I use mine just about every day. But this is the new one. And why look at the box when you can see it, ta -da! in person. So this is the Source Edition. Okay, so now it's metal. It makes sauce. It comes with the machine. <laughs> It comes with one cylinder of gas. Uh, these you, you just exchange. They have deals with like Bed Bath & Beyond and Staples. You bring this back, you leave it, you get a new one for 15 bucks. And you can make, um, I did a, a score thing when I first bought mine. I think I made 44 one liter wow. uh, bottles of soda. For 15 bucks. Uh, so you get that. You get the new uh, Soda Stream bottles with metal accents. Uh, the original one came with a Spanish accent. I could not understand that machine, though. Uh, so this comes with metal accents. And then you get six flavor samples, okay? Um, How much is that? So we're going to start. So you fill it with plain water. Cold water is better. So fill it with water, leave it overnight. What, well, Leo? No, but I, this new locking Take mechanism. One of the new things is you don't have to use to put the bottle in and screw it up. I used to screw it up all the time. Uh, so then you put it in like that, and then you just push back, and it's locked in automatically. You can't see them until the LEDs come on. There are drops here, and I like high combination. So you push down, Whoa. and we get one drop. No, more. I need more. It's going to blow. It's going to blow, Captain. Power. Okay, yeah. I really get into this stuff. <laughs> then you bring this up. That will release... The carbonation, the brakes are off. Okay, and then that you just put so the dangerous. bottle forward, and that releases it. No one's screwing, and now you have carbonated water. I'm not going to open the uh, sample uh, kit. Um, but you flavor this it like afterwards. A lot. I've yeah, been drinking exactly. this all week. Diet pink grapefruit. My and thing you now, put it in the cap, it. and they tell you everywhere. Warnings everywhere. Don't flavor the water before you carbonate it. Okay. So you do it after. Very important. Okay, and you just pour it in. So you can vary the amount, the strength you like. This is kind of medium. I should probably um, get this. And then you put it on and you just tilt the bottle. I you, had, well, you don't have the new one, they, right? We have one in the studio. Uh, the Pixel Core bought one. That. I don't and drink soda, I, yeah, but... Uh, you don't drink get soda? It, get no. it just for carbonated water. Soda's so bad for you. That's what we have it for. We yeah. love it. And you can make tonic Remedy? water, which yeah. I drink a lot so when I have it. Yeah, that's his They just call it uh, diet pink grapefruit. Very good. Um, list price, one twenty nine ninety nine. It seems so expensive. Uh, it's going to be selling for ninety nine ninety nine. dollars uh, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, all the big box stores will have that. And this is called... 
the source, okay, the soda stream source, and it comes in many colors. And this one, as I said, is all metal. So there you go. Dick D. Bartola, Man's Man is right, and the Gizwiz here on Twitter. Hey, get your soda, get so your cold soda, <laughs> cold get your cold soda pop. Pink grapefruit soda. <laughs> so No, it's good, Myra. Myra, what do you think of the pink grapefruit soda? I think it's really, really good. There you go. Oh, well, I trust Myra. No, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, you know, uh, you, don't is, you to... recommend the source, the new one, the metal one versus the... And how much more is it? If it's going to be 99 bucks, isn't that the same price as the old Soda Stream? Yes. So it's the new version. It's the new version. Okay. I like the fact that you, that you just stick the bottle in and push on it and you don't have to screw it in and unscrew it. And I like the fact that the little lights light up to tell you how much carbonation. Oh, that's new too. All right. Well, it sounds yeah. like if you're going to get one, you should... Now that's the starter kit source, ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's what that's what you want because you get the uh, six uh, flavoring tester, you get the uh, metal uh, accent bottle, you get the cylinder of gas, and you get the unit, and it's metal, and it comes in uh, many different colors. Yeah, Dennis mainly uses his to make tonic water. Yeah, and so you don't have to carry bottles back and forth. And here in the city, uh, a liter of soda is a dollar twenty nine. Right. And I make it for between about 45 cents. All in, including the cost of the soda yes, stream and everything. Yes, really, cartridge yeah. and the flavoring. Yeah. So not, not to can, you, I was, uh, can you make wine with it? Because I, yeah. I would make wine with yeah. it. I Carbonated think. wine. Carbonated wine. Yeah. Fizzy wine. So do you have one, Jason? Yeah, no, we have one. We use it all the time just for, just for bubble water. And then we'll yeah. mix it with like cranberry juice and it's perfect. Bubble oh, water, I can, it's just soda's so yeah. bad for you. Well, not to mention the plastic bottles, right? If right. you're getting uh, carbonated well, water them, and all that. Don't, don't eat them. Right, you don't, uh, don't, don't what? Don't eat them. No, don't eat them. Oh, oh. Can you make it, they don't have glass bottles on the soda stream though. You have to use. I don't think so. You have to use the no. plastic. But you're not leaving it in the plastic for weeks and months at a time. You're just doing it real quickly and then you're pouring it into a, a glass chafing dish. Right? No, I leave it in the container. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no chafing yeah. involved, Leo. Yeah. yeah I, you I used to know, and, and you know why this big in New York? Because Mayor Bloomberg said you're not allowed to drink soda. So this people are now, it's like prohibition. You're, you you got like a soda speakeasy, right? You have to knock and the swordfish is the password and the thing. And what do you want? I want soda. Okay. And you slam the door and I like that, right? Yeah, but just don't give my address. Everybody, Dick's running a speakeasy <laughs> on the Upper West Side. A soda easy, a salsa easy. <laughs> Did that wasn't that overturned. He said you couldn't have giant bottles of soda. Yes, you couldn't. You couldn't uh, have like twenty ounce drinks to take. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. and it, and yes, it was. It, it's like unconstitutional, right? I mean, that's it, it got, yes. that's your God given right to giant sodas. Yeah. I mean it. it it's wasting people's money because then they'll say, "All right, well, give me two of the current laws." Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I mean, if you've got a man-sized thirst, you need a big. You need gulp. a man-sized drink. That's right. Next thing they know, they'll ban Cinnabon. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <sighs> then I'll be picketing. <laughs> Trust me on that. So I don't know. Should I get a so, soda? Now, uh, what do you use if you don't? If you don't drink soda, I, I don't mean, drink if you soda. Drink, but it's, <laughs> yeah. If you so like seltzer like and idea. tonic water, then what you, get it. So what do you do with salsa? I just drink it. You make a cream soda. You drink seltzer? No, just play. Jason, don't you drink? Can you get yeah. a thing that takes Instead the gas of drinking out regular of it? water, you what drink if bubble you bought, water. Like, what if you had a lot of Pellegrino and you just wanted to take the gas out and make it flat? Mm. Do they have an, 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 a reverse soda stream? I'm working on that. I'm working on <laughs> that. It the the Digivina people are working on that. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Lars in Michigan has a, has a good suggestion carbonate my scotch. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Although, if they discourage you from putting the flavoring in before you yeah, carbonate, they scotch. probably would yeah. want to. Do they say do don't either. use on scotch? <laughs> specifically. Not, not specifically. It, it might blow up? Explode. I'd like, I think, can you go get but the picture? Now he's going to buy one. Now he's going to buy one. I think we need to do an yeah. experiment. We, we, need a, we need a highlight moment from this episode. Let's go get the <laughs> Just borrow course. their, they, don't, they won't mind if you just borrow their soda stream. I have a little scotch in the other room. We'll just. <laughs> okay. Make fizzy scotch. Fizzy scotch. That was going to be my stage name. <laughs> <laughs> Let I, us I, get I, gadget number three. No, that's you, pal. It is now time to turn. We did little bits. Little bits. 
Energizer, Energizer light fusion technology, and fizzy soda stream source. Remember fizzies? They Over still make those. That's what you need. That's a, that was a tablet. You put in a cup of water, turn it into soda. No really? fizzies. Oh, I don't remember fizzies. You guys had. Oh come on! There you go. The original fizzies. Oh, what about those things, Myra, in the from Economy Candy? That was a pixie sticks. Oh, those pixie were pixie sticks. That's we not the same sticks. thing as fizzies. Similar okay. though, probably the same factory. This is my. That's me in the cowboy hat. This is my era. Wow. Yeah. It's basically Alka Seltzer with soda. I was just going to say it's flavored Alka Seltzer. Yeah, that's basically it. Which was good. Fizzy's turned any glass of water into soda for a couple of cents. Right? Dennis, Dennis just came down and said you can make spritzes. With the wine and the salsa that you make. I'll make a spritzer. A wine spritzer. A wine spritzer. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I know I'm old-fashioned, but I just drink plain water. I like water. Oh, doesn't, that's bad for doesn't water, <laughs> doesn't water taste great, though? Tastes even better with little bubbles in it. <laughs> yeah. And scotch. What is this, a condom? No, it's just an Alka-Seltzer, Oh, it's an Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, but this has aspirin in it. No, alka seltzer has aspirin in it? Yes. What do you think it is? It contains anhydrous citric acid, 1,000 milligrams, 325 milligrams of aspirin, and sodium bicarbonate. That's oh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. We just turned this Fizzy's commercial into an alka seltzer commercial. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have put Jeffrey Needles for one last time, because he's soon going back to school, where he's going to have some real tales to tell about life <laughs> In business. Yeah, the real yeah. world. The real world. We put him to work building more Lego. <gasps> and nice. we are going to show you the latest. But first, let's show you the time lapse. Should we start with the yeah, time let's, lapse? let's do that. Oh. So, uh, Jammer B, once again, John Slanina, Mr. Bacon, we call him, has done another wonderful time lapse. This is Jeff Needles building, what's it called? The Super Star Destroyer. The Super Star Destroyer. Take a look. He is... Man. Oh man, he took about 30 seconds. Wow. 3,000 plus pieces. Wow. I noticed it's eight days still wearing the same shirt. Oh, fine. Look at this. Oh. That is amazing. Wow. Thanks to our editor, Anthony Nielsen, who turned that into an amazing work of art. Wow. A little dubstep uh, boom. Is that you on know, YouTube? YouTube.com slash twit. Is that where we... Inside twit. Inside twit. Okay. Wow. And this is it. This is the... Uh, this was $400. Oh, my word. I know. I know. Uh, 3,152 pieces. Uh, it comes with all of these characters. You get a... Uh, a dang you know, is, is 16 plus, are they saying you should be at least 16 years old? Oh, yeah, and, and you should, right, Jeff? Because this is not easy. Uh, it comes with a Dengar, an Admiral uh, Plotso, <laughs> uh, an IG-88, yeah. Yeah, the Bosk, yeah. and uh, some guy named um, Fred, Darth, oh. Darth, yeah. Darth Fodder, Darth you know, Father, Darth Father. watching Fodder. Jeff in, in that uh, speeded up, action mm. he is going to be great in a pizzeria <laughs> you see he i'm telling you you learn great skills as an intern here toppings. at Twin. yeah he could be the topping king so for the last time well what he's got going back to school for another month so we might get another thing out of him okay. ladies and gentlemen jeff needles and what's what's the name of it for my website 10221 lego superstar destroyer here he comes ladies and gentlemen darth needles <laughs> We're going to recreate episode four here. There was the little ship, and then the big ship. 
comes in. We're, 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 oh, wow. It's following. Oh, the special effects. Oh, oh man, it looks so oh, real. Oh, God, it's so real. Oh, oh. It's so oh, you're, real. you're off. You're off <laughs> axis, Jeff. You're off. Oh. You give up. Oh, oh, I've been stabbed. All right. There wow. it is. Isn't this beautiful? Look what he did here. Oh. It's gorgeous. And it, it, the lid comes right off. And by the way, the wow. light comes on when you take the lid off. Now you're talking $400. I didn't know the lid came off. Oh, yeah. Look at There's a whole control room in here with a little guy in it. Wow. You know, it's a trap. And uh, no, that's somewhere else. And then... Uh, there's the other little character. Does anything else come off? Oh, no. gosh. <laughs> no, he says. No, that was not supposed to come here's off. Here's Darth Vader. He's For some reason, he's riding, like, on top of it. I'm the king of the world. Like Slim Pickens in Doctor <laughs> Strange Love. And then it has the little ship. So you remember in episode four, the very first Star Wars movie, the very first shot has a little ship going, uh, you know, being chased, right? And you see the planet. Yes, you see the little yes. ship. And then, pew, pew, pew. And, then the mo and then this is the great effect that they did the monster ship then comes in and you realize how small what it looked like you know it was, Admiral, we have here we go ship, let's, let's, as long as we're gonna finally like copyright let's go all the way <laughs> uh, i just wanted it to trap. Yes, it's a trap oh, i feel like i'm we're reliving it again watching that absolutely yeah. so this is uh this is really 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 <laughs> jeff's like just like just just uh, from the bottom from here yeah. really yes. that's better than lifting it from the stand okay well, it's pretty heavy, but isn't that beautiful? And, you know, it, it's actually a very sophisticated model, Jeff tells me. A lot of this stuff is floating. It's not attached. It's just uh, it's an internal skeleton, whatever that means. So uh, that is beautiful. Amazing. That's great. great. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's amazing. Can you Here, let me turn around so you can see it from the back because it's got engines. It's got jet engines. I don't know. if Can you see it? If you, Yeah, you can kind of. The little red engines on that. It's oh, really neat. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. So, so what's your gadget, Leo? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, what did My you gadget, build? I didn't build nothing, man. <laughs> I let Jeff do all the work Next here. Week. Next week, we're going to do this. Oh, that's going to even the budget out, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we, we spent all the money on the Lego. So next week, it's this. And oh, I, is that it, a hearing it, aid? It, it, well, it could be. It looks like it might be a pump for a fish tank. I don't know. Oh. It's, it's hard to say, but uh, you'll find out if you, if you <laughs> next week tune in the thrilling, yeah, gripping our, episode 1425 of the Gizwiz. Our very own What the Heck Is It? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this would be a good time to take a break for an ad after that. That was, ex that was exhausting. Oh. I uh, yeah, I have to calm down. Oh. <sighs> this is so beautiful. You know, all the Star Wars, have you read the Star Wars books, Jeff? Are you that big of a Star Wars fan? Um, well, you don't read, but you might listen at audible.com, and they have the complete selection of Star Wars books there, beautifully performed. They also have Star Wars performed, the movie performed in a, uh, in a uh, I think it was a, a NPR uh, that did it, but here's all the Star Wars books. I'll tell you what, you can get you can get one of these for free right now if you go to audible.com. I'm sorry, yeah, audible.com slash gizwiz into the void Star Wars from Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi book one. It's amazing how the Star Wars universe has taken off here. There are, let me see how many Star Wars books, 158 Star Wars books on here. In incredible. The complete collection is here. So let me tell you something. Audible is 100,000 books strong. It is the best audio bookstore in the world. They uh, totally have the best readers. You can get the Audible uh, app for your iPhone, your Android device, your Windows phone, which makes it very easy to listen. Uh, and they have, um, when I said best readers, how about Academy Award winner Meryl Streep reading Nora Ephron's Heartburn? How about that, huh? They've got amazing people. I wonder if Meryl's done other books for Audible. Here's the deal. If you go to audible.com slash gizwiz, yes, she has. John Cheever. Look at this. Oh, Altman. Nice. Robert Altman's oral biography, yeah. narrated wow. by Altman, with appearances by Warren Beatty, Cher, Julie Christie, Elliot Gould, Julianne Moore, Paul Newman, yeah. Tim Robbins, Martin Scorsese, and Meryl Streep. I got to add that to my list. You know what? I'm going to add this to my list. Are you an Audible listener too, Jason? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it too. 
It's the gift that keeps on giving. Every month I, I get a new credit, and I can't wait to find a good book Fabulous. to spend it on. Really great Hollywood stuff on here, and that one yeah. I'm definitely going to listen to. But also history, uh, thrillers, uh, mysteries, murder mysteries, biographies. I listen to a lot of biography. I, I just love biography for some reason. And a Hollywood biography, the best yet. Let me give you, let me give you a tip. Audible.com slash gizwiz. Check it out. Pick a book. You're going to sign up for the gold plan. That's the book a month plan. Your first month is free. Cancel any time in the first 30, 30 days. You'll pay nothing, but that book will be yours to keep forever. I don't think you're going to want to cancel. Get the Steve Jobs biography. That's a great one. Yeah, Adam great. Lashinsky, uh, Inside Apple. That's a classic. Um, just oh, yeah. so many good things. What's this listen. Napster one? Yeah, it's a great book. One about the history of Napster. Hmm. I, I just, I, all I can say is if you're not an Audible subscriber, you ought to be. Audible.com slash Gizwiz. Try it free right now. Your audible be an, no that didn't work. What? You you said you ought to be as, your audible yeah, be that, as that would only work if you wrote it down. You audible be a subscriber. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think that's going to oh, be the next that's, slogan. That's, that's, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's awful. I'm going I'm a subscriber too. The problem is I listen to it to and from work. But, Which you know, is uh, 30 I live, seconds a day. Yeah, yeah I'm really still gonna... on the page one of the first book <laughs> that I bought two years ago. And then but... <laughs> he said, and, yes, and then you get that. But on the way home, I'll I, find out what yeah, he said. Exactly. Yeah, it'll yeah, be great. Exactly, exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you might want to put on your headphones, jack into your walk, man. Listen to a little bit of audible.com because right now we're going to take a walk. Could be a pretty long walk if you're starting on the west coast of the United States of America because we're going all the way to the east coast to a little island extruded out of the state of Maine. It's known as Manhattan. What? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Manhattan. It is home of Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Dick DiVartolo. Yes, Leo, thank you so much. Well, Dennis and I did run <laughs> up to the warehouse this morning, but did it was you? hot as hell in there, oh. and we said, let's just get out of here before we fry. And I came home, and I said to Jason, hey, we got any good videos? And Jason said, we have a really, really neat one. Yay! <laughs> and this is that video of your video. Well, hi, Dick and Leo. Just wanted to show you a gadget from my warehouse, but first I wanted to thank you for all the years of uh, the stuff you've done on Twit and Tech TV before that. I really enjoyed it. And I uh, wanted to especially thank Leo for introducing me to The Simpsons Tapped Out. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll get back at you sometime for that. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about a gadget from my warehouse. And basically, this is uh, the first removable hard drive I ever used. And it's from around 1986, 1987. And it holds five megabytes. And here it is. Whoa! It's about at least megabytes. 12 inches megabytes. It's solid metal. And it's about probably eighth of an inch thick or a little under an eighth of an inch thick and this came from a data general uh nova 7 uh, <clears throat> wow. five megabyte removable disc pack and it was partnered with a five megabyte fixed disc and you basically pulled it out like a washing machine and dropped it in uh it has the hub intact on it which is unusual for some of these things I uh, had it as a clock for a while, but it kind of got Ooh. dropped and fell apart. I like the that. disc survived. I've always been tempted to have it in my office at work, but people liked it so much I thought it might get stolen. But anyway, it's <laughs> just an example of uh, how big our, our discs have, discs have used to be and how little they actually held. Um, probably weighs about maybe two or three pounds. And uh, you don't want to drop it on your foot because you will hurt it. I think right now it needs to be cleaned a little bit. Maybe a little coat of wax put on there. And maybe I'll make a clock out of it yeah, again. Wax but, it. That's a good uh, idea. It's always a conversation piece. And people look at it like, what in the world it's is that? Hard drive. And I Amazing. thought, well, it's a disc. And they said, oh, it must hold a lot of data. And I'd say, no, five megabytes. That's about it. Um, looks like it could be a dangerous weapon, too, if it was spinning fast enough. But So that's my my gadget from the gadget warehouse today and uh, i'm sure you'll have some interesting commentary on it so uh, 
look forward to more uh, Gizwiz, and um, I'll be here. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. That was Doug Ferguson, wow. and uh, Doug, that was that was five megabytes. That is just unbelievable. Uh, and you know we're we're almost running out of. Gizwiz videos or, or or videos for the Gizwiz. So we're looking for more. We're looking for I bought a piece of crap. I invented this. My gadget warehouse. That's very popular. We we love those where like Doug, you find something that for some reason you can't part with, or even my favorite gadget of all time. Just make a little two to three minute YouTube video, post it, and send us the link. Uh, Jason will get it. It's gizwiz at twit.tv. And something new, we've been doing it for about six or seven weeks now. If we show you a video, you get a piece of crap. What? Yeah. I assume that no one is going to get the Super Star Wars. No, nah, I think that one's going <laughs> home with Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we do need videos, so get out your cam. And remember, production value is non-existent. You've seen the stuff we do, uh, but we'd love to hear from you. Um, do it and post it and send it to uh, send the link gizwiz at twit.tv Now ladies and gentlemen without yes. further ado I think we've got a letter to the editor fly home, Jeff. So you, you're going to ship this? Will you dismantle it and all? Or you're just going to put it in a box and hope you get more than a few pieces in the end? Pack it in peanuts? You think it'll survive? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Why did I pop it uh, in pa on, uh, popcorn? You have so much We got a few little popcorn, yeah. thanks to folks yeah. at Cornology, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, the popcorn exactly. arrived. Uh, exactly. Carefully packed in popcorn, which was interesting. <laughs> but not a single kernel broke, so that's good news. Good. What is our letter? Our letter is comes from David Miranda, who says, guys, guys, check out this cell phone charger. Jason's mm -hmm. going to put the link up here. This is the PowerPot 5 thermoelectric <laughs> generator camping pot by PowerPot. That actually, Jeff says, we were about to order that, so there you are go. You yeah, you guys have got to review this one. You guys are great. You do a great job. So this is a camping pot, and the heat of you cooking is to generate enough power to charge your phone? So, yeah, so the phone gets charged by the fire while you're making spaghetti. Okay. It's $149. Isn't it easy to go to Anchor and just buy like 100 spare batteries? But you'd have to plug that in. What if you're out in the woods and all you can do is build a fire? Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. A fire but is a lot of energy, but how do you convert the energy from a campfire into a way to charge your phone? Well, if, uh, if me, I would just get the PowerPot 5 thermoelectric generating <laughs> exactly camping. Exactly right. Stove. We don't know how that thing. works. Is it? Is it? Uh, does it have a little turbine in there? I don't know. No, it's magic. we don't either. That, that's yeah. why. Uh, that's why David wanted us to do it because he doesn't. We, know we should buy 150 bucks. We should buy it before he does. I agree. Oh yeah. What are you yeah. kidding? You think we spend money on silly things? Not on this show. <laughs> no, everything we spend. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, be careful. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not worried about breaking it. I'm worried about Jeff, break, Jeff breaking me. I was just going to say, yeah. Jeff is probably <laughs> under the table. Yeah. With a... <laughs> yeah, he He's got a hammer in his hand. I don't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, that's in our, on our list. Uh, we have many things on the list. I'm not promising that'll be the next thing. No, the next For thing, thing is building a, a, a campfire yeah. might be a little tricky here in the studio. 
but not impossible. Not impossible. It's not, not, not impossible. Not, impossible. Nothing's not impossible. impossible at all. You yeah. know what? Plastic burns really good. If we had like a big model kind of thing that we could just break up mm. and throw in a pot. Yeah, you know, but we're going to need a lot of pieces. This well, and it's got lots of little air gaps, so there'd be plenty of oxygen for the fire. Yeah, and glue is a great accelerant. Yes, it matches. Yeah. Anybody? Well, we need the pot first. Oh, well, let's get the pot. Don't, then we'll burn yeah, it. Yeah, get the pot okay. first. Okay. This is our campfire right here. <laughs> Dick, we uh, thank you, Jeff Needles, for building this amazing star thing. <laughs> By the way, do we want to see a little bit of what we could have done on today's show? Sure. Uh, yeah. Because we have both the Star Destroyer as well as the Lego Death oh, Star. Oh, okay. These guys make me angry. Concentrate all fire on the Super Star Destroyer. There you go. They have More both. The they built Ford both. Theory. Watch More this. Power the Ford Shield. This is terrible. Too late. This should be a ban. No! Oh! They think that's funny. That's not funny. Oh, that's not funny. And the Death Star is $400. <laughs> that's $800 worth of Lego. Uh, and, I mean, they're never going to put that back together again. No, you know why? The pieces are yes, pushed together. Exactly. Uh, you now have 8,000 pieces in a blob. Yeah. And you don't know which belongs to which. See, Jeff, aren't you glad you picked this show to come on and yeah, not that not one? Not that show. Not that. What is the name of that show? Yeah, I'd be. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be doing that too. Uh, tested, I believe. Tested. That's That's, is that, that a revision three uh, product? I believe it is. Wow. I believe it is. Oh, wow. Shameful. What Shameful. some people will do for ratings. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, not we don't us. care. Not us. No. No nope. rating schmatings. Rating schmatings. <laughs> hey, Dickie what the heck D. Is it? Yeah. We're going to see you back here Saturday for the Giz Fizz. Uh, but no. this year, this week, no. We're skipping it. We're going to skip true. it because I'm doing a triangulation after the radio show. Right. Uh, I'll be on the radio edition. show, but there's, there's no You'll Giz do the radio fizz. show. You don't want to stick around an extra hour afterwards and do the Giz Fizz. Oh. Uh, you could if you wanted I, to. Yeah. Well, let me think, think about, about it. it. Think if it's hot, that. go to bed. <laughs> exactly. And don't forget the what the heck is it? Oh, gizwiz.biz. That's the yep. place. There's uh, all the show notes there for all the weird gadgets. But also, if you click the what the heck is it, then you can uh, figure out what these things are. 12 Mad Magazines for the right answer. Autographed by our buddy here, Dick D. Bartolo. 24 sir. for the wrong answer. Yes, sir. And you'll be playing for what, the September... Uh, uh, you'll be playing for the August, uh, October issue. October issue of Mad Magazine. So you have exactly. now through the end of August to play the game. You are correct, sir. Dickie D, you're the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay cool in that hot New York uh, summertime. You and we too, pal. we will see you right here next Tuesday about the 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern time, maybe 2100 UTC, 2200 well, p.m. Eastern time. Right. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. your time, 5 p.m. my time. What? Jeff, just Something. remind me, okay? I'll Something. be here. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll be here.